Ready? Got it, girl. And what you're really trying to do is use baseball as the hook to bring kids together with law enforcement officers to show the kids that these law enforcement officers are just real people. Ohio Attorney General Mike DeWine pitched the badges for baseball program to three cities, Zanesville, Canton, and Youngstown. It kind of puts together some passions of mine. One, of course, is, is baseball. Uh, the other is kids, and the other is working with law enforcement officers. And so when I heard about the program, I said, hey, that's a perfect fit for Mike DeWine. This is, this is great. Let's go make this happen. Let's bring it, bring it to Ohio. The Cal Ripken Senior Foundation, in collaboration with the U.S. Department of Justice, began Badges for Baseball as a way for at-risk kids to field life lessons in the classroom and at bat, rounding the bases, while seeing cops as mentors, friends, and coaches. Baseball Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Jr. and Attorney General DeWine wanted 9 to 14-year-olds to experience respect, leadership, and teamwork. I, I think uh, anytime you combine uh, law enforcement and baseball together, uh, it's it's totally about teamwork. Uh, you know, there's there's nine players on a baseball team. Um, they all have to do their individual jobs for the team to to come out on top and to do their best. Uh, same with law enforcement. You know, we have uh, today eight cruisers out working in the streets, and they all have to work together uh, to get the job done. So. Um, you know, I think that's an important message that not only in, in sports, but in their life. In Zanesville, kids from the Big Brothers Big Sisters program are loading the bases. Many of the children are facing adversity, uh, having been maybe from single parent families, having a parent, one or both parents incarcerated, maybe they're living with uh, family members other than their parents. Uh, also some children who may have a, a parent in the military uh, or even low income. So they, there are some factors there and some of those factors may have led children to have negative interaction with law enforcement officials. So it's great to know that they have had a positive interaction with the uniform and, and not only that it's a uniform but there's a human being, there's, there's a person inside that uniform and they get to know that person inside the uniform. Are you scared? There's nothing to be scared of. I'm right here with you. The best part for badges for baseball for me is the discussion and the quick ball and meeting the deputy, getting to know them better and how they help our community. It was great to get more to know them. I think per site we'll probably have 100 to 125 kids. So we're looking at 300 to 400 kids during this uh, pilot season. It's definitely a home run. For him to uh, learn about this project and bring this project to Ohio, uh, it, it shows that he wants to give back to the community. Uh, he wants to do good things in the community and provide things that uh, we normally wouldn't have the access to. So we just want to thank him with all our hearts. Who's my last batter, guys? Well, we'd like to expand it next year to an additional city, and we find it, it works very, very well. Ooh, good swing. 